may actually hit our deadline this time. I need another excuse for serving leftovers again. <laughs> there are bugs. Bugs! All over my plants. Oh, that explains why you dragged it inside then? Mom! This is serious. If I can't share my produce at school, I'll fail science class. Rose, if you don't mind, I'm trying to plan dinner. Why don't you ask your uncle? Uncle Steve! Interesting. It looks like you're raising cross-striped cabbage worms. No, Uncle Steve. It's the broccoli I've been growing for my science project. Oh, right. Broccoli. Tell me more. I don't understand. I've been giving them plenty of bottled water. So that's why we're always out of sparkling water? And I'm definitely not using any pesticides. Just letting nature take its course? Yes, but... So what's the problem? What do you mean? My plants! The bugs? It's entirely natural for pests like that to feed on young plants. And it's entirely natural for you to get that out of my kitchen. How do I get rid of them? You might have prevented the infestation by using a pesticide. But Uncle Steve, I said I'm trying to grow it without any of those chemicals. You could use neem oil. It's a naturally derived organic insecticide made by pressing the seeds of a plant called Azadiracta indica. No, it has to be safe to eat. If you read and follow the directions on the label, your produce will be perfectly safe. Just give it a rinse like you would anything from the grocery store. Or you could just continue to go on natural. And uh, if you manage to harvest anything, just make sure you eat around the bugs. Ew! No way. I didn't even know organic farmers used pesticides. Well, I'd done my research. Spoken like a true agronaut. <laughs> Uncle Steve, I'm too old to be an agronaut. But you're never too old for science. Oh, but it is way too late to cook dinner. I'll warm up some leftovers. Leftovers, leftovers again? again?